Time to get onto something a little bit controversial, don't you think? Let's discuss VAR. How's it going people? West Ham Official, I hope you are all well. It's my second video of the day, there might be a third, um, but you'll just have to wait and see on that whether we get some reaction from the uh, the Premier League boardroom meeting about COVID. But that video is already done and discussed and uploaded to the channel by the time you see this one. I'm talking about VAR today, I'm going to be going through the whole timeline of it and giving my thoughts on that. And as you can see by the title, I'm pretty angry, not going to lie, after the last week's VAR and referee decisions. Scrap VAR now. I'm going to say that and get on to my thoughts on that a little bit later on. But let's get on with it then. So the 2019-20 season was the first to feature the video assistant referee, also known as VAR, or to Gary Lineker, VAR. <laughs> This was off the back of growing claims that referees aren't up to the task as many clubs felt hard done by in previous seasons due to poor refereeing um, decisions, me included as a West Ham fan. V VAR was also introduced to consolidate refereeing in the best league in the world. It was introduced to give refs assistance on 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 decisions. Decisions, decisions that they were perhaps unsure on, um, and you know weren't weren't at the best angle to give a decision for. VAR sounded like a good idea. <laughs> the key word there is sounded. When it came to reality in the Premier League, it was highly criticised that decisions were taking too long. There wasn't consistency with with the decisions, and they were giving offsides for you know fingernails. You know if you were like that and your nose was a bit long, you know you're like Pinocchio. They gave it offside. Um, some fans have called it to be scrapped. Now I've called it to, called it to be scrapped right here and right now. Fast forward up to this season, though. In most cases, it's done okay with VAR this season. You know, in the past, we've had issues with dodgy lines, squiggly lines on the offside VAR. There's been some atrocious decisions given for red cards penalties, um, offsides, pretty much everything controversial that can get controversial. VAR has made controversial. I'll take a shot for every time I say controversial in this video. You will be loving life. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, VAR is almost, you know, this season it's done okay. And then we get up to last weekend's fixtures. <laughs> um, not great, yeah. Um, there was red cards, penalties, pen penalties specifically that were given for the big six. And Leicester, James Madison. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna stop that one against um for for Leicester. Now the now the challenge was made, there was extremely minimal contact, but James James Madison knew there was contact coming, so he dived pretty much in to the defender's uh, knee so he dived into it and then flopped to the floor and he got and he got given a penalty my issue with this is that why you know i don't know if they sit him over to the monitor but generally if they um if the var man sends the referee over to the monitor they're going to overturn the decision that's just what we've come to know of what happens with the procedure of var but you know if you look at it and, and sometimes you think just, just, just at times I don't even do checks. Like, how has that been not been checked by VAR? VAR. I was watching the um, City, not City, um, Spurs Liverpool game last night, and I looked at that Harry Kane tackle, and Dad says to me, "That's a red." I said, ah, "It's not a red." But then Andy Robertson in the second half, yes, it was a strong. He didn't win the ball. Strong tackle. He wiped him out, but he gave a red card for that. To me. To me, they were both yellow cards. But if I was going to pick one that had to be a red, it was the Harry Kane one, and he only got a book in. It's so double-headed. It's so just not consistent. There's no consistency in any of this. And, you know, people are getting increasingly frustrated that every single time the big six get the decisions. It's the bottom line. The big six get the decisions. Granite Xhaka should have been sent off against Leeds. Yes, they won, but Granite Xhaka should have been sent off in the week because he stamped on his foot. And, yeah, that's a red card. Not even a booking. Not even a booking from the VAR. Just, just everything, and, and the stupid rules they've got with it is, I mean, with the Sufa red card against Arsenal, that was a second yellow card, so they weren't allowed to, VAR weren't allowed to look at it because it was a second yellow card, and it wasn't a clear and obvious error, or it wasn't a big moment in the game. 
it wasn't a big moment in the game. The referee got the decision wrong. He probably wasn't at the best angle. Sufal won the ball. Yes, he took the man with him, but the key word is he won the ball. If you win the ball in football, it's a good tackle, in my opinion. So why are we giving penalties for tackles that whip that that players win the ball? Now, for me, with that, yes, he did take the man with him, but that shouldn't matter. That's hard tackling. Lacazette rolled over four, t- four times, that four times, nearly ended up at the Spurs stadium, and then the penalty was given. And how VAR didn't overturn that, I don't know. He got the ball. David Moyes thought he should have got more of the ball, but at the end of the day, his boot touched the ball and it, and it, and it, and it diverted the ball into a different direction. So in my opinion, that's a good tackle. And he got a second yellow card for it. For me, the first yellow card on Sufa wasn't a yellow card. He literally just went into it. His elbow was there. He just went into it like that. It was right down our end. We were 20 yards away from it. And what we saw, that wasn't a yellow card. He dived to the floor. Everything about it is just pathetic. I mean, sorry. <laughs> We've just seen, just time and time again, we just see dodgy decisions. And it's just, I mean, we've seen it when West Ham have been down the other end of the table. And you and you just think we played a big surge. And you think, how? And Newcastle had it against Man City. Edison wiped I think it was Callum Wilson out, no penalty. I think if that would have been the other hand, he would have been off, red card, off and penalty kick. It's just it's just so obvious, man. And this picture sums it up perfectly. I mean, it's not even a joke anymore. That's literally what it is. Check in goal, possible threat, the top four. VAR are trying in every single way to stop us getting in to the top four. You look at it, we 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 have been on a very poor run of form and we are still sat in fifth possession um fifth 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 position, sorry. And look at it and every single time they now against the um against Liverpool they looked every sing that they looked at every possible way to try and rule that Antonio goal out. But no, it was Allison just being an absolute um, making an absolute howler. Then um, next we look and uh, and they disallowed that goal where the ball didn't even touch Antonio, who was in an offside position. I don't even think it brushed his sock. That's what it's coming to. We 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 are not giving goals because a ball might have brushed somebody's sock. It's not football anymore. It is really not football anymore. And and you know most of the time this season, I don't have a problem if. Um, if the VAR decision take a minute to be made and they make the right decision. When I've got an issue is they go and have a look at the monitor. No, firstly, he puts his finger to his ear. He talks to him for a minute, has a chin wine, has a cup of coffee. Then he goes over to the monitor and then he has a look. And then if they give a red card, then they, then Anthony Taylor or whoever has got to, got to talk to the other team and say, why, that's a red card. And all of a sudden, five minutes of the game is gone. I just think, you know, I was personally in favour of bringing in VAR, but I mean, how it's been implemented has just been poor. And for me, we just need to get it out, get it out of the Premier League. In this board meeting today, talking about COVID, I don't care what the rules are. They should be saying, can we talk about VAR and how top six bias, big six bias it is? Because we, you know, we weren't good enough at Arsenal at all. I'm not going to say that we were. We were poor against Arsenal, but you know we probably wouldn't have got a result if that wasn't a red card or a penalty. We probably lost. We would have lost one 0 and we still would have had our record with uh, only only losing by one goal. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> um, but you know something's got to be mentioned, and surely the um, you know the Newcastles, the Watfords, the Burnleys who are getting these bad decisions as well. Surely they must be thinking, can we just have some consistency with this? So. Uh, um, Obviously, this week we've seen dodgy penalties galore, and there's no coincidence that the big six get all the decisions. I mean, Xhaka against our, um against Leeds, Edison against Newcastle. It's just all these times. It's just getting boring now. Um, you know, as a fan of a big, um, as a uh, as a fan of a club who's pushing to get into this big six, pushing to get into the Europa League and the Champions League, like we are this season. It's corrupt. I'm going to say, I'm going to use the word. It is corrupt. The league is corrupt. VAR is corrupt. I wish all six of them leagues would have went away and would have gone to the Super League um, back back, back earlier in the year. Everyone was in absolute uproar about it. But fans of the 14 clubs now thinking, why don't we just get rid of them? Get rid of them. We'd have a much better time without them. Um, but, you know, rant over. 
rant, rant, rant over about VAR. So scrap VAR now. It's not working. They made serious changes coming into this season. It worked for a few games. Now it's all boiling over and it's all going to pot from the last two game weeks of Premier League action. Can they consolidate this up? You know, can they take VAR out again? If they do take it out again, which they won't. Um, People are then going to moan about Premier League referees, about how they're making bad decisions. I'd rather Premier League referees make a bad decision than some geezer sat 300 miles away in a computer room with 60 different screens looking at stupid things, wasting two minutes of Premier League game of football. It's my personal opinion. Thank you very much for watching. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to West Ham on official video around here. Scrap VAR now. I'm done with it. Premier League referees, they can just do it on their own. If they make bad decisions, so be it. But get VAR out of the Premier League. We need it gone. Catch you next one, guys. Cheers, guys. And bye-bye. I'm not a breather.